He's got a new album exclusively on Pandora.com called Eggshell. Give it up for Nate Craig. All right. All right. <laughs> I will get through this quickly so we can watch you two get after it. What's up, New York? 25 degree heat wave. <laughs> Saw people with shorts on today. I like it when it was five degrees. That's nice. When it's so cold that your breath has a shadow. I like that. <laughs> Every time you walk under a street lamp, you can see your soul leave your body. <laughs> oh yeah, live TV. I got my haircut for this. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a haircut to fix a haircut. Uh, last time I got assassinated. You've been getting your haircut and realize in the middle of the haircut that this person is destroying my head and face right now. <laughs> Everything I'm trying to do with my head and face, this person is throwing a pipe bomb in my whole setup. <laughs> but you can't say anything, you gotta trust. You gotta treat them like a professional. <laughs> Maybe they do what they set out to do, they hook it up, they come through in the clutch. What are you gonna do, snatch your debit card, run out with the apron on? <laughs> Scamper through the parking lot like some sort of pissed off superhero, backwards cape, half a haircut. <laughs> Is that what you want to be? Bad Yelp review man? <laughs> Nobody's happy to see bad Yelp review man. No. At that point, all you can do is just drop hints and hope they don't mess it up worse. Like, yeah, listen, uh, I was thinking about hair on the side of my head if that was there, if there was that. As long as it's not longer than the hair on the top of my head, I'd be fine with that if that could happen. If, you know what, could you take a quarter of an inch and put it back right here? Do you remember what I looked like when I walked in here? If you could make me look more like what I looked like when I walked in here, because that's what I wanted. Did I not say that? That's okay, that's my fault. Do you have a place I could sleep for three weeks? until this disaster grows back? Because right now it looks like somebody tried to harvest wheat with figure skates. What are you doing up there? I live in Los Angeles. Everybody's in shape in LA. I like, I like staying in shape sometimes. I just prefer to watch. My favorite sport to watch on TV, football. No question. My favorite sport, all right, football. Give it up. That doesn't usually happen like that, but it's live. Let it run. My, my favorite sport to watch live, Pilates, hands down. <laughs> hands down. Or whatever that position is, the one where their hands are down <laughs> and the rest of them is up. I like that shit. That's good. If anybody here designs Pilates studios, why you gotta make the window so big? <laughs> you trying to make me feel like a predator? <laughs> Because you, you can never stop and watch Pilates. That's, that's not acceptable, creep. At, at no point can you walk by a Pilates studio and do this. No, don't even, you better not stop. Don't even slow down. There better not be a, a hitch in your stride. Right here, predator. Right there, registered sex offender. You turn your head, Chris Hansen comes out with Lululemons on. <laughs> what did you come here for today, sir? <laughs> Who's the Gatorade for, sir? <laughs> Chris, uh, I was minding my own business, and this room full of gorgeous women tied up in ropes uh, ran up on me from three blocks away. So, why don't you back off me, Chris? What are you doing here, Chris? With your yoga tights. <laughs> you gotta flip it on Pilates, Chris Hansen. <laughs> now, nah, Chris. Don't you got some kids to save? What are you doing cock-blocking housewives, Chris? <laughs> um, oh, do you guys like impressions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. This is a toilet. Here we go. It's a toilet, thank you very much. <laughs> so I smoke a lot of weed. Uh, 
Yeah, smoke that weed. Um, I, I do stupid stuff when I smoke pot. Sometimes I say uh, strange shit. I got real stoned recently, and I said the gayest thing I've ever said in my life, which, if you're gay, that's wonderful, unless you're straight, and then it's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Jake Gyllenhaal fan, and uh, I, went, I went to see his last movie, Nightcrawler. I went, yeah, great movie. I went to see it by myself uh, on a Friday night, a little alone time, me and Jake, and uh, I got rip and stone in my car, and uh, I just didn't think about what I was going to say. I, I, hadn't, I was in my own world. I hadn't spoken to anybody in a couple hours, and I walked up to the ticket window. I ducked down into the glass, and I was like, one for Gyllenhaal, please? <laughs> And I just froze. You know how when you smoke pot and plan out what you're gonna say? I gotta plan out what I'm gonna say when I smoke weed. I'll be like, okay, as soon as this guy's done talking, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. As soon as this guy's done talking, I'm gonna say this. I got some shit for this conversation right here. Oh shit, she started talking. Who is this? What? Okay, I'll tie it in however I gotta tie it in. They're gonna be like, this dude is so cerebral. What took us so long to let him say what he had to say? And then all of a sudden it's your turn to talk and just a pile of garbage comes out of your face. Well, the other side of that is not planning out what you're gonna say, and then asking for a ticket to Jake Gyllenhaal in front of 30 couples. It bounced off the glass. The Culver City, California chapter of Match.com. <laughs> Heard me ask for a ticket to Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> like, that was an option. I just needed the guy, the, the guy behind the register, I needed him to fill in the blank. I was blanking on the title of the movie I went to go see. It was the most marijuana brain rot shit that I ever did in my life. But I was on the board and my stoned eyeballs couldn't find movie titles. All I could see was Times. I could only see Times. I was lost on the board. I was like, yeah, the movie with Gyllenhaal in it. I wanna, I wanna go see that. <laughs> I wanna go see the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Can you read the synopsis? You got a sheet, read the sheet. Dude, read the sheet. It's the movie, I just want one ticket for one grown man to the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal in it. He didn't know, he didn't care. He works a register, he wasn't gonna save me. He just looked at me like, sir, did you just ask for a ticket to another adult male? As if he were a ride at Six Flags, is that what you did? He has a calm gaze. He has a calm, sturdy gaze and it makes me feel safe. Is it gay if I just want Jake Gyllenhaal's essence inside of me? Is that gay? <laughs> I want Gyllenhaal's essence and Ray Allen's jump shot inside of me. I don't think that makes me gay. I'm not gay. But I have slept with a woman that looked like Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Strong cheekbones. She was aggressive in the face. She had a dark intensity. I kind of liked it. I realized that's what I like. A woman that looks like she could save me from a burning building <laughs> that she set on fire. <laughs> no. Uh, if you're dating, uh, Godspeed, dating can be, uh, can be goofy. And there's so much room for miscommunication. Like, uh, we've all been auto-corrected. I got auto-corrected recently. This is, what I was trying to, this is what I was trying to text a woman. I was trying to say, I want to do filthy things to your body until your alarm clock goes off. But my phone changed it to, have you seen Interstellar yet? But I didn't notice that. And then she texted me back, I have. Which got me real excited. I thought she was like, I have a body and I have an alarm clock and I'm gonna be economical with my words right now so that you can understand exactly how excited I am about this hot filth you just suggested, get over here. So I texted her back, I hope you don't bruise easily. Right? To which she responded, what? Which was when I saw the original autocorrection. And I was like, oh shit, my phone messed up. And she was like, my phone messed up too. And I was like, well, what were you trying to say? And she was like, what were you trying to say? And then we were in this autocorrect standoff. And I was like, I just want to see if you wanted to hang out tonight. And she was like, where? And I was like, in your asshole. And she was like, oh good, I thought you were trying to get me to watch that Matthew McConaughey movie. I don't even like Matthew McConaughey. You guys, that's been my time. Thank you so much.
Thank you, New York.